what I want, want you to tell me is what was your experience? Because there are a lot of people out there who are trying to take the ACE exam. People who are watching this right now, they're probably studying for ACE. What want you to first share your experience with ACE, taking the exam, what you went through first, and then maybe talk about some tips, what people could do when they're preparing for their exam. Okay, so I'm, I'm Oren Lozanski. I, uh, I'm 47 years old, uh, male. I live in New York City right now. I have a family here. Uh, I have a business also by myself, like I own a hair salon. It wasn't easy in the beginning. They sent me the book. Suddenly I receiving the book and I'm like, oh my God, I wasn't in school for, I don't know how many years, 20 years at least, even more. So now I have to, to read that by myself. And uh, honestly, it was a little bit challenging because English is not my first language. I don't, so maybe I can talk to people and people say, oh, your English is fine. It's one thing, but reading and remembering names of muscle and stuff like that was a little bit of challenging, as you can say, not nice, but <laughs> so. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to you right now as we speak. I, believe that because um but uh, all i can tell that people that like in this similar situation as me it's like a tip i can say that don't give up and continue repeating even if nothing goes through your head right now that's fine like seriously it's really hard to study over 40 and and i'm sure that a lot of you guys that are much younger than me and even even if not that's okay too you know, because everybody coming from a different situation and a different story, but it doesn't matter. All I can say is continue to do it. And eventually it will get to that, to that brain. Eventually it gets to that brain. And um, yeah, so I started with that and um, I won't lie, I neglected. I kind of, I think I was overwhelmed and it was too much for me. And, you know, life happens. Then I had my son born and, and, oh, oh like other things that um, I, ha I, wa I wanted to be a father that always like helping my wife because we don't have a family here. So I did, you know, life. And um, then my, my wife saw me and she said, you don't seem very happy. So I said, yeah, because I started something and I didn't finish. And she said, look, you have to do two, two choices. Like you, 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 you forget about it or you're going all in. And I know myself. I will hate myself if I was just neglected. It's something will bother me for the rest of the days. So I said, okay, no matter what I'm doing, I'm putting everything I can into it. If it's going to cost me money, if it's going to cost me the time, if it's going to cost me to lose in my exercises that I love. Because, you know, you have to, to put that as a top priority, even if it's a temporary, even if you're not, if you like to go to the gym early in the morning, but you don't have any other day because you have to work, if you have family, you have other, you know, it has to be a priority. You have to dedicate at least, at least, at least an hour a day to study. I'm not saying more, but at least an hour a day in order to, 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 to see results. Because if not, then say, you know what? Maybe it's not the time now. I'll get back to it in six months. I'll get back to it in a year. I'll bet. But you definitely have to study because there is a lot of material. And if you just like, if you're not like a gifted, talented human being that read one time the page and remember everything, hey, Good for you. More power. I'm not like that. I had to repeat. And, you know, you can say like we repeated. I was like, sometimes I was looking at my notes and I'm like, oh, my God, we already studied this issue for like three or four times. And it's still not in my brain, you know, but it was there. But I had to read it one more time or two more times. And I was like, ah, I remember we studied that reciprocal inhibition or like, you know, like so, 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 the something. Uh, the Thomas test, yeah, how many times we went through that. And um, I mean, I have to say you guys are lucky because you found Rebel with a dream. I found it through YouTube. So if you guys are here in this platform, you know who he is. He's is amazing. He helped me out so much. And the time was like, you know, sometimes I didn't feel like waking up. We were meeting at 5 a.m. my time. So I had to get up at 4, 4.30 in the morning and be prepared and then study the, the homework that I got from you and um, but you know what now that I'm looking back it was all worth it so I definitely recommend to do the time and, and to study because it will give you the opportunity to be better in what you guys are doing 
So the more you're gonna study now, I feel like you will be um, more uh, confident once you're gonna actually gonna train people because they say knowledge is power. So the more knowledge you accumulate, the more confidence you feel. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's just uh, me in a nutshell. Tomorrow I'm having, you know, like I told uh, Sanjay, I have oh, my first client. client. Hell yeah, yes. So, Your first client. Yeah, exactly. First client. When, 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 when was the exam though? When did you get certified? Your ACE exam? The exam was, I want to say, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. And t tomorrow is your first client. Oh, it's my first client. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have uh, earlier, like, I had somebody who wanted to train with me, but, you know, life happened. He couldn't do it. And I went on vacation. So it could have happened even sooner. But uh, listen, I'm not, I'm not chasing nothing. I'm just doing my thing. I'm trying to promote myself because I'm, like I said, I have two hats. I have a business that I love to, and I love what I'm doing on my day job. And that's like an extra for me. So it's not like going to be my first priority, but it's definitely something that I love and I would enjoy doing. So uh, I won't tell my customers that I would train them for free, but just because I love that so much, but you know, every Everybody has to charge for their time, especially because you become, uh, you know, uh, certified. So you definitely want to charge for that. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited. And, um, okay, so let's go back to, to the people that are studying, that, list, that look, watching that and saying, okay, what can you, um, so obviously you don't have to study everything in the book. Uh, listen to Sanjay, he knows, to guide you guys what's the most important chapters there are. Um, definitely study all about how people, all the postures, different types of muscles that's important to know, a scenario between, between a client and a trainer, all the report built, they cost us that, all the assessments, I've been asked about that in, in the exam. And there was a lot of also legal legal stuff that chapter 17, in my, if, I, if I remember, uh, there was also something that you, you advised me to study. And I feel like I studied that. that uh, I did much better if I wouldn't be studying. You know, it's like, uh, surprisingly, I did good in the harder part. And then, so that's something that you guys can accumulate points without like, they need to study all the muscle, but you, I mean, when you're already getting to the exam, you need to know as much as possible because that will be much easier to clear. Also, it's not a rocket science. Seriously, it's really, really not. So don't take the stress aside. It's not a rocket. You know, nobody is going to fly a ship into space. So it's definitely doable to pass. And uh, you always have to remember that ACE wants the clients to be healthy. So they're always asking those questions in order for you, the trainer, not to injure nobody and no, you won't cause harm to nobody. And they protect you as well. They don't want you to get sued. They don't want you to do silly mistakes. So that's why they created this program. It's if like, there is a very, very, uh, there is a pattern from the get-go, from where you meet your client for the first time, and because all people are different and there's different, you know, ideas of how people see, they, they actually target everything there in their curriculum. And I think if you study everything and you read everything and you repeat everything, there should not be a reason why. Even if you accumulate 80% of the knowledge of the, what they give you in the book, it should be enough to pass this exam. So it's really, really doable, doable. I've seen some people, uh, you know, skipping a few chapters because they've been told that these chapters are more important. So just focus on this. So they end up skipping an entire chapter, maybe two, three chapters. You skip anything? If I skip anything, I don't think I skip anything that like, um, there was probably chapters, I won't lie, that I didn't give like. them. Yes. There was not like, maybe I didn't study them as much as I studied chapter seven. Okay, so chapter seven, I remember that was like a really 
chapter that are dedicated like to remember all the kyphosis, all the all the what the muscles are, what you know, like you wake me up in the middle of the night and I will tell you what's that. But you know, the, <laughs> I feel like I this chapter I dedicated more than like say chapter three or two, or you know, because once you understand the report, you can always go back to it, but maybe there was better. I don't know that maybe further chapters that I kind of it's like okay you know that doesn't look like so so important and I kind of skipped a couple of it but at least I I kind of gave it a reading you know so but I I remember when you came to me and we started working we were like you know what you're not skipping anything you're gonna go over everything all chapters but yes there are certain chapters certain parts of certain chapters which are kind of repetitive or not that important from exam point of view. Those we would still study, but not yeah. go all in, right? But it's not a good idea to skip a chapter completely because you never know from where the questions are coming. And although you have all these weightage, you know, domain one, so many percent, domain three, all these things are there. But yeah. if you look at the domains, pretty much the entire book is being covered, right? So you can't take your chances. You got to know each and every domain. You might be really good at one domain. That is good. That is okay but you got to get all the domains at least average, at least decent knowledge on in every domain. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think you're right because the more, like I said, it's like the more you know and, and then you have the, your chances are just going to be higher to clear that. So pretty much we're all here from the same reason. We want to clear this exam and start right. living life, you know, mm -hmm. that you want to be, we want to be trainers. So get, get this thing out of the way, you know, get the license and just jump right into it. Knowing... Yeah, so Knowing that you can keep your clients safe and you have, you know, put in the work and got the license, you earned it. You didn't just, you know, it's not an open book exam or something, anything like absolutely, that. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, for example, I, I didn't think that uh, the chapter with all the, you know, um, with all the legal stuff should be so important. I really didn't think so. I yeah. thought, you know, like I said, oh, I'm a business owner. I know what S Corp means. I know like uh, LLC because I have a LLC myself, I have an S myself, I know what it is, but I didn't know that you're supposed to take a client to, if you want to take a client to the park and uh, they ask you like, what's the first thing you need to know about that when you're training something in the park and you know, you need, is that park is legal to train somebody? I had no clue. And that was a question I exam. So if I wouldn't study that, it was, I think like, oh, I know that because I know that I would just fail. And it's like less points. So then I have to retake the exam and it's more time that I need to spend. So keeping that stuff, I don't think it's a good idea because then it's just, you're going to have to get back to that. Because once you're going to sit in the exam and you're going to see this question and you're going to say to yourself, oh my God, why did I do that to myself? Right. Right. I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> okay. 